What's up, guys? We're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Um, I couldn't find what they did to Captain America 5 Star, but uh, they, from the looks of it, they did the exact same thing to him. They reworked him, or actually they buffed. They gave him and Infinity War Iron Man both, I guess, the exact same buffs. Health, match damage, and then... Uh, you know, 60% damage increase on the match damage, I guess, and the ability damage, I'm assuming. I was doing some playtesting with him, and, oh, sorry for the lag. Um, he could basically carry an entire team, especially with these two. I mean, obviously, there's the whole Colossus, the tank, which these wouldn't really help him at all because you need to like I am going to be using boost to speed things up just to show you guys how crazy this new um, newly buffed uh, Infinity War Captain America is um, 535 is his best build uh, I know red generates AP for his strongest color and it doesn't increase or decrease the, the, the amount of AP you generate. The damage, it does decrease. But seeing as how you're going to be using this for some damage, but mainly for the AP gen, keep it at 3. Um, the real combo is you use his yellow, and then his blue feeds off of that because of the strike tiles, uh, attack tiles and defense tiles that he throws out. He stuns, it's for AoE as well. Um... I think Melinda May is Team Cap. I'm not sure. Um, I don't really remember. But, uh, yeah, they he's going to be hitting for a lot regardless. And then if they deal enough damage to you, Valkyrie throws out Strike Tiles, with which therefore, you know, fuels his blue. So he's going to be dealing quite a bit of damage regardless. So the combo you want to kind of do is yellow into blue. If you use red, that's fine. It only costs seven, and his blue costs seven. But uh, I recommend putting red at three, just because it doesn't change the AP amount. I know the damage is like what you want most out of him, because he's just basically a damage dealer, and he relies on his abilities, right? But uh, I feel like his best combo is five three five, yellow into blue. Um, and we're going to be using boost to speed things up. And to make it somewhat even, I'm going to be going up, up against Shang-Chi, Crystal, and I think Karnak, which on the third turn, I'm probably going to die. But if not, we, we got to try to um, down Karnak first. Let's get into this. Um, and then Crystal, obviously, she heals. But uh, I we might have to go into a second match because of Crystal's healing and Shang-Chi's just match damage in general. So we're obviously going to try to do this. Shang-Chi, so we got to hit him first. Um, I don't... You know what? Okay, so as long as that doesn't match... See, as long as that, that doesn't match, we're good, right? Because we already have... 2,631. One more match. We generate the free AP. We got Shield Bash. Um, I'm going to hit Karnak. 16k. He's down. Melinda May generates AP. Um, so she's going to be generating... AP in your strongest color. My strongest color is yellow. So yellow into blue, which is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, and it's crazy how, like, the damage that he deals. I don't know exactly what they, like, I guess, I guess I do. Like, I guess they increased, like I said, health. Um, because him and Iron Man both have 81,000. The match damage is increased, and the damage from the abilities are increased. His yellow seems a little bit better than what it normally is and was. So we're going to hit Shang-Chi. We're going to generate AP. We got yellow. This is just too easy. Even if you don't use boost, 
to speed things up like it doesn't matter look at this he's just gonna hit he's gonna stun hit for aoe generate ap and like if you wanted you could stun with melinda may or you could just do this and deal crazy amounts of damage as well see 32,000 and then 20,000 stun plus aoe damage with his yellow it's just insane they, they literally just made him better than what he was his original health was 41,000 i think or 51,000 i don't know i think his original health was 41 or 51,000 health which oh my god that he wouldn't survive even with these in, the increase of damage and uh match damage and ability damage he wouldn't survive but the health increase gives him a chance and not only that him being able to use four stars to fuel him and dip, you know potentially beat the best one of the best five stars in the game and then pat one of the best passive healers like the most annoying passive healers in the game that basically doesn't let you deal any damage it's pretty pretty good i i, I should say like i do say so myself and uh, Valkyrie and Melinda May, in my opinion, are probably going to be... I'm going to see if it stuns her. Probably going to be his best bet into helping him climb fast. If you're not going up against uh, Scarlet Witch, Beta Ray Bill, um, or Colossus. Those are the, like, the three best tanks in the game. Obviously, Chasm, Immortal Hulk, you know. I mean, I guess he could go up against Immortal She-Hulk. Right, Melinda May can stun and he can stun. So you could really only like you really only need his uh yellow. So you hit for yellow, make sure you're targeting the targeting the correct character. That way Valkyrie can pop her um cannon tile and you can generate the AP. And then Melinda May just generates the AP for his yellow. So it's like GG's, right? You win. Now his match damage, let's see what it like. So we're gonna match Let's see, his strongest color is yellow. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Uh, 3,000 match damage, that's not bad. So even if you activate yellow, and then the strike tiles help him get the one shot match damage to, to pop off uh, Valkyrie's bounty hunter. So in general, like I think he's just, him and Iron, him and Iron Man are just two great characters now. I really hope they do throw out a vault for them for I can pull. Um, I would like to use this team to climb in PvP Simulator. Um, not so much Iron Man though, because I really haven't found a perfect team for me to pair him with. But uh, this is this is just insane. Using I used this like what four times already, five times. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments. Um, and then like you, this is you don't even need the coordinated. Of, offense uh, offensive you just boom and you win like it's all there he just a solo carry he literally just he 1v3'd and you know with basically two supports that generated him free ap and uh like i said even if you don't use the ap boost to help you speed the ap generating up you're in three turns you're gonna get his ap up you're gonna use his yellow and then you're gonna use his blue you're gonna obviously down somebody you're gonna have that stun there you're gonna have melinda may stun if you want a double stun to continue generating the free ap like you can kind of half half perma stun the team generate free ap over like six turns and then it just kill the whole team but uh yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed as always i'll catch you guys in the next one peace